All right. So he is walking. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's under us. Yeah, I see him. What if he gets hit first by a shot? No, he doesn't. Wait! 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 Run! 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 Welcome everyone to the MGM channel, I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about a four player horror game which I've been meaning to do a review on and I'm ready to do it now. And that game is the Blackout Club. The Blackout Club is an amazing four player co-op horror game where you as the child of your own character has to figure out what the heck is going on with this town and why is my parents and everyone else's parents sleepwalking. Not only you gotta watch out for the family sleepwalking being weird, there's also weird cultists doing some crazy stuff around the town every night. So you and four other people have to investigate every night of what's going on. And the more you investigate, the more deeper the story goes. So let's talk about the game itself. Every time you start a mission, it's always random, so it could be anything. And you as the player has to go and find evidence and recordings of what's been going on each night. Every time you complete it, your level rank goes up, and the more you level up, the more it opens up a bit more. From the maze underground, to the towns, to the school, and hopefully they'll be adding more things. The maze itself is crazy. You'll find some really uh, spacey things, like, like random music sounds and other cultists, which are also dreamers. Uh, playing random music. It gets really fun and when I say a maze, it's not really a maze maze It's easy to figure out which is where like the locker room and the control room and etc etc Just run. Just run. Just run. Okay, I didn't expect that Candy Park! Oh, Find something! <laughs> oh, stuffy! Throughout the game, uh, the more noise you make, and if you make enough noise, uh, the thing called the shape, aka angel, will come out and chase after you. Now let's talk about the angel itself. The angel, you can only see with your eyes closed. And you can hear him when he goes near it, when it goes near you, with this white faint sound. And as, if it's getting louder and louder, it's going to grab you. So make sure you run away from it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to beat around the bush. That thing, that angel, is relentless. It will not stop chasing you. Dude, he's coming. He's fucking here. Better quickly get that shit. Oh, he's here! He's tufty here! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. Fuck! He's coming from behind us! Why is he so close? <laughs> How did he get tufty? Get off of me, you stupid son of a bitch! You random, <laughs> non-significant <laughs> mother! Tufty! <laughs> oh, <he's> tufty! <laughs> So let's talk about the first and basic uh, enemy, which is the sleepers. Um, they can hear noises, but they can't see you in front of you, so you can use that to your advantage. Now, the stealth system is pretty good, but if you step on, like, concrete, they will hear you, but will not be highly alerted. If you decide to get up and sprint, they will start chasing you. Um, sleepers are pretty easy to knock out and other things. Uh, so let's talk about the second one, which is another common, and they're called the Lucids. Now, similar to the Sleepers, but they have the ability to see. So they can see you a mile, and they will run after you, and they will not stop running after you until you lose their sight. So keep that in mind. And of course, the final one, the Angel. Oh my god, I don't even really need to say much. Just, just if you see it, if you need to find where he is, just close your eyes. And if you hear that white noise run, I don't really need to say much about him um, because here's some clips. Johnny's running after you, man. I see. <laughs> They're all running after you, boy. 
Oh, he's climbing down that ladder. He's on to me, boy. No, he doesn't. Wait, 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 run, run, run. Oh my God. I swear to God, if you're going to play this, do not be this guy. Right? You got to go and run at me and then press F, is it? Go, 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 go. Right there, quickly, go before I start running. Press F. Press F! Press F! Press F, you tufty! No, we're gonna. No! Alright, just go down there. It's right behind you! I can't fucking play this game. Dude, you're nearly at the exit! Go! Just. So let's talk about the uh, the skill trees. There are f multiple major ones, and which if which one you pick is up to you. I don't know them all the name for them because there wasn't names popped up. I know. Let's give you an example. Uh, the hacker, I would say. I know that one. The hacker kind of like can hack drones and other security cameras, so we can get across. Uh, the other one is uh, a pranker, so he can prank call. And the lucids or sleepers will try and answer, which is pretty cool. Especially it's good to get away from uh, different types of enemies and they come running after you. If they haven't seen you or come near you, I'd say. You're unstoppable, which is more of a support class for the group. And they, if you go, if you're with near them, you get bonus stamina and they can recover their health, I believe. Then you got the, uh, I, I believe it's called the brawler, where you can actually jump on an enemy and instantly trap them, whilst everyone else can get time to get away. There are in-game items, such as the tranquilizer dart, which will knock them out, not sleep, put them to sleep, but knock them out. Uh, a trank trap, which will again knock them out. Uh, you got firecrackers, so if you throw it in a direction, they will come that way. I believe you got a protein bar, which will give you a limited cinema for a bit. And then you've got bandages in case your health goes low. Let's talk about the health benefits for that. Where every time you get hurt or you fall off a high edge or get captured, your stalema bar will get cut. And if you get caught too many times or your health is really low and you get caught, they will forcefully drag you by the legs to, the, to one of the red doors where the angels come out of. So watch out because that is literally the worst thing you'd want to be caught, captured by. For every mission you complete, you earn these things candy, which is pretty much uh, currency to buy new like clothes and equipment and stuff like that, which is really cool. So you can fully cut deck out your character to make him what he looks like every night. You get to pick from three major power weapons. So one of them is a stun gun, and the other one is a trank crossbow, and the third one is a gravel hook. The gravel hook is one of my favorites because I can help my friends out if they're down below and they can't climb up because there's an enemy there. So I can throw the gravel hook and the rope comes down and they come up and then I can retrieve the gravel hook so we can use it more times than ever. Uh, the stun gun is one of my friend's personal favorites. So if we get into a tight situation, he can literally stun them for a minute for us to get away. The game itself is really good. Yeah, uh, we've had a lot of fun on it. However, if you've been pl if you play it for like three hours, you will notice the repetitive in that game um, after a while. My only my only complaint about the game is uh, there's one angel. I really hope they could add two angels when you get a higher level up, but I don't see that happening. And I think if they put two angels out there chasing after you lot, then that would be more of a challenge and more of a rush, really. Because when you're getting running away from everything like that, it is a, a good rush, a feel. From a, and that's what I like about it, because, you know, compared to all these horror games, 1v4, I do not like these 1v4, because I find them too competitive and not really scary. But with this one, it, it's just the rush of running away with your friends, laughing at the same time as well. Uh, that's, that's, that's the fun thing. One more thing I didn't get, which is weird, is the random gods and sacrifices. When you have a high enough level and you wish to sacrifice your character to start again, but you get a load of, like, candy, which is vanity stuff you can buy. Uh, you get to pick from, like, different, I guess, gods or voices. And for me, I, I don't think that's really necessary, but if, if you're a hardcore lore fan wants to know what's going on, then 
I guess that would be the perfect thing. But for me, I, I'm a casual gamer. I, I enjoy that. I don't mind a bit of lore, but when they throw that kind of stuff, like a Destiny flashback thing, eh, no, thank you. I enjoy the game for what it is, and uh, the price is a bit steep, but if you and your friends have got it, it's quite the fun game. As I said, there's lots to do. Uh, there's loads of different missions, and it can get really, really, really crazy once you start leveling up a bit more. And yes, that is it for Blackout Club. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are new to the channel, of course, hit the subscribe. If you like this video, hit a like. Leave a comment if you find this enjoyable. And yeah, that's about it, really. Now, Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.